In this lesson, we learn how to solve a linear programming problem with infinite solutions. A company has 18 kilograms of gravel, 21 kilograms of cement, 4 kilograms of sand to make two different concrete mixes. Concrete A costs $2,000 and it requires 3 kilograms of gravel, 7 kilograms of cement and 1 kilogram of sand. Concrete B costs $2,000 and it requires 6 kilograms of gravel, 3 kilograms of cement and 1 kilogram of sand. This information can be summarised in a table. The constraints are given by the total amount of each material available. There are only 18 kilograms of gravel, so we must use less than or equal to 18 kilograms of gravel. Similarly, we use less than or equal to 21 kilograms of cement and 4 kilograms of sand. The company can produce concrete in any measured quantity and wish to maximise their profits. The constraint equation for the gravel is 3x plus 6y is less than or equal to 18. For cement we have 7x plus 3y is less than or equal to 21. And for sand we have x plus y is less than or equal to 4. The objective function to maximise cost is 2000x plus 2000y. We plot the lines by finding the x and y intercepts. In the first equation, the x intercept is 18 divided by 3 equals 6. The y intercept is 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Next, we have 21 divided by 7 equals 3, and 21 divided by 3 equals 7. Finally, 4 divided by 1 equals 4, and 4 divided by 1 equals 4. Since all equations are less than or equal to, we shade the feasible region below all three lines. The vertices of the feasible region are 0, 3, 2, 2, 2.25, 1.75 and 3, 0. We substitute these coordinates into the objective function to find the maximum solution. When x equals 0, y equals 3, 2000 times 0 plus 2000 times 3 equals 6000. When x equals 2, y equals 2, 2000 times 2 plus 2000 times 2 equals 8000. When x equals 2.25, y equals 1.75, 2000 times 2.25 plus 2000 times 1.75 equals 8000. When x equals 3, y equals 0, 2000 times 3 plus 2000 times 0 equals 6000. The maximum value is 8000 and is found here and here. Since there are two optimal solutions, all solutions between 2, 2 and 2.25, 1.75 optimize the objective function. Since non-integer solutions are allowed, there are an infinite number of solutions found between these points. Essentially any decimal value of the coordinates along the green line segment 
are optimal solutions. Visit maths at home.com for further videos and practice.